And like David, I too am appearing before you as the last time for uh, Susan and I. We are finishing our two-year term and are looking forward to the leadership in Halifax Presbytery of Lindy Gates. Halifax Presbytery, as most of you know, is 31 pastoral charges, and we cover from Sheet Harbor, Muscadabit Harbor, Elmsdale, Mount Uniac, Yonkrum Court, and Sam Road are the outer edges and everything towards Halifax Peninsula from there. So we have a large and varied uh, presbytery. But we're a pretty good group. They've been behaving pretty good for the last couple of years. We told them we'd run if they didn't. <laughs> Um, the work is done, and most meetings are fairly amicable, goodwill, and thoughtful discernment. We meet in different pastoral charges each time we meet, and we only meet in September, November, January, March, May, and June. And the executive meets on alternate months. Halifax Presbytery is blessed with many outreach ministries, including Brunswick Street Mission, Fairview Parent and Todd, St. Paul's Family Resource Institute, St. Luke's Freedom Renewal Center, Coverdale Center, Dalhousie Campus Ministry, and the Halifax Go Project. We do our best to maintain strong relationships with these projects and always enjoy hearing updates and uh, reports from them on a regular basis at our presbytery meetings and also our uh, Church in Action has a uh, luncheon where everybody gathers from all those uh, various ministries at one time to kind of connect with one another and with the committee. Um, we also have Camp Kidston within our bounds and uh, they reported a successful season for 2012, although not without its difficulties, including trying to fill the shoes of Janet, our, uh, the past cook as most of the AST folk are familiar with Janet and her cooking. So this led to a few problems when Janet left and uh, we're searching for a cook again this year. There was also an incident where three children were lost and uh, however, the policies and emergency procedures that were in place worked very well and they were found without incident. Um, they are also searching for board members and a chair. This year, the counselor and training program was totally redesigned by the program committee and uh, was renamed Leadership Development Program. Uh, reports are that this was extremely positive and it is hoped that this will support the development of staff for future years. Hopefully, with your prayers and help, this important ministry will be able to continue to pro provide Christian camping experiences to our youth. We continue to have two pastoral charges that function with just weekend supply. And uh, as we know, those situations are not ideal, but for now, they seem to be working and we'll uh, keep our fingers crossed. St. John's United Church in Halifax, um, I reported last year that they were working towards creating Spirit Place as an affirming, welcoming space to live together, live, gather, and worship for everyone including seniors of the gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender community. Um, we are still waiting for city council to make a decision on this, and uh, it's becoming a long wait. Uh, along with the St. John's Project, we also have one congregation that has finished phase three of their building project, and another that is beginning a large modernization and renovation project. Our peri the parish nurse program continues in Coal Harbor. Uh, committees. We are blessed with past relations committee that works very hard. And uh, as with most committees, struggles with shortage in members to get the work done, but they do an amazing job. And has been busy this year with uh, four congregations, having needs assessment committees and joint search committees in two others. They also work closely with the MP committee, and this year we had four covenanting services for new ministries in the presbytery. Pastoral Oversight Committee continues to do their work oversight and are completing their triennial visits for 2013. 
They have been busy with the ongoing conversations about ministry at, that are taking place in Dartmouth and are looking at ways to live together and serve Dartmouth. And uh, I was talking to uh, Stephen, our secretary, and he said that, that these meetings, when the Dartmouth folk get together, are turning into um, being quite uplifting and positive. And uh, that's an encouraging thing, that they're, they're working together, they're not repeating, they're not overlapping, they're working to serve the area as best they can. That's like downtown Dartmouth, out to yes. North Bay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the Pastoral Oversight Committee also noted and celebrated the resilience of the Knox United Church congregation as they continue to recover with the care and ministry of Reverend Ross Bartlett. And the committee also celebrated the vibrancy and music ministry at Bedford United. They also note the recurring challenge at almost every visit of the declining membership and declining uh, stewardship. Our Education and Students Committee is busy, as all Education and Student Committees are busy. We have one ordinate this year, and there are at least four candidates uh, in the process. The committee has also been working hard at uh, rescheduling their interviews to make them a little bit, uh, to flow a little better and be uh, better time to, to accommodate the students and their schedules. Christian Life and Growth Committee is currently making plans to offer an adult lay education program. And this will reflect the results of a successful survey monkey that was conducted within Presbytery. There was also a healing pathway program offered after Easter. It was attended by 10. And it is hoped that this will be the beginning of a continuing ministry within the Presbytery. Clergy, clergy lunches continue to be held on a regular basis, and this is a wonderful opportunity to build collegiality within the presbytery. We are currently working at uh, redeveloping our web, web page in the presbytery. Our other one was horrible when we took it down. It was out of date. There's nothing like out of date posters. <laughs> and uh, hopefully the new one will be up and running in the next six to eight months. It's a slow process, but anyway. Um, I have to be honest, in Halifax Presbytery, believe it or not, we have our dysfunctional moments when members and pastoral charges are upset with the stand Presbytery takes. However, I think this is all part of being the family and hopefully we'll continue to be able to work out our differences in a calm and thoughtful manner. And in closing, Susan and I believe that the spirit is alive and well in Halifax Presbytery and uh, Although it's been busy and sometimes stressful, overall it's been a time of joy and learning for us both. Thank you. Thank you.